Hey you guys, I hope you guys are doing fantastic because this is me, Enrico, and I am back on your computer screens once again. Like this video, subscribe, click the notification bell so you can hear my random opinions on a random different topics pertaining to Japan, Korea, China, Hong Kong. It's always around that area. I have to breathe in. I never understood people that give their opinions when they're awful and nobody asked for it. Nobody was looking for it. Nobody was even checking for this person and his opinion. You think that he's in his golden years that he would just sit down and live out the rest of his life and be happy for what he's had because it, he's been messing up. But Yoshihiro Mori. He is the president of the organization of Japan's Olympics and there's been a lot of controversy with like half the population being against the Olympics that's supposed to still be happening in July but we still have Corona and people are saying this is not such a good idea. Morty decided that he was going to give his opinion about women being in the committee and raising their voices to talk because you know he, he, he prehistoric. And he feels like that women should be seen and not heard, basically. So he said, one woman talks, then another woman talks, and they talk too long, and it's annoying, and they don't want to have long committee meetings. So women should just know their place. This is the short gist of what he was trying to say. Many people in Japan were outraged. And they were calling for him to resign. At first he was like, whoa. I'm too old for this social media stuff. I don't know nothing about this. I didn't know that people could harass me like this. You know, I thought we were back in 2000s when I was prime minister. And I could say whatever I wanted to say. And people were against me. But, you know, still, I was, I was living a good life. No. This is 2021. Things have changed. So he said, gosh. I'm getting so much hate, I might have to actually step down, and I might do it. So people were saying, please do. There was a hashtag, it was trending. He came back again, he said, you know, my family, full of women, they were attacking me. I feel like that I am just being reduced <laughs> to a little boy. Everybody is attacking me. But then he was like, you know, I'm just going to apologize. Maybe y'all leave me alone. But still, he did not resign. So people are like, what the heck? So now this leaves Japan at a standstill. And they're forced to face this old way of thinking. And if this is actually still what is in the deep core of Japanese society, what bothers me, and I got to be completely honest with you, this is something that bothers me with South Korea too, is that there are a lot of people who are very upset, not so much because of the sexist remarks that were made, but because foreign publications like New York Times are now writing about his words and they know that people outside of Japan know about it. So there's a lot of people that get so offended and so upset when Japan is painted in a bad light. When people who are not Japanese see Japan a certain way but they don't feel so pressed to fix the issue at hand. This bothers me. Now they know this man is 82 years old. They know that he was once prime minister. They know that he runs off at the mouth and he just says anything. He's like Donald Trump reincarnated as a Japanese man. So what changed in this long lifespan he has lived that they thought that it would be any different? <laughs> Someone please explain this to me. They allowed this man to actually get a somewhat new high position. It's very obvious that there are many older people that are stuck in their ways. It's very obvious that Japan, or we can even just say Asia as a whole, has a problem with 
putting women in the same position as men. And now with everyone trying to be politically correct, they're, ch they're trying to, you know, sweep it under the rug. But this type of thinking will always be there. And what he did was he brought it back to the forefront. And it, he's, he's making Japanese society look at this again and be like, one step forward, one step back. Why are we still talking about this? Why are you making comments about women? It, it sounded so bad. You are okay as a placeholder, but don't talk for too long. Anybody who is passionate about something can talk for a long time. But especially if said person feels like they're not being heard. So I, I don't understand why this is just a woman issue. I could talk for a long time. You could talk for a long time. Anybody could. But you're saying that this is just something that women do. I'm pretty sure there were a lot of men on this committee that talked a long time too. So maybe you should be telling them to be quiet as well. So that the committee meetings won't be so long. But you're not going to do that. There was reports that when he made these comments that there were actually people who laughed. This isn't funny. It's awkward to single out someone because of their gender and saying that they talk too much. Don't support comments like this. Because once again, I don't believe that Japan as a whole is like this. But I do think that this is still an issue. Because it's something that still is coming up. Whereas like women are seen as baby makers. As someone that is just there to make a baby, just there for intimacy, just there to entertain men. The list goes on, but it is never something where a woman is like empowered to stand in her own two feet or to be independent or have her own voice or have control of her own body or choose what she wants to do or apparently have an opinion according to Morty. So it's like, what gives? I'm tired of this whole, oh my goodness, we have to keep up a good image when there's problems. And and this could go for anywhere in the world, once again, anywhere. Any person that does this, I don't like this ideology. It's like someone who feels more upset about being called racist than actually being racist. Do you see how problematic that is? And this world is not going to get anywhere if we have a lot of people that think like this. Just, just stop. Like, 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 please, just, just, just stop. Quit it. Older people will be older people. But you need to stop giving people that have these types of thought processes high positions. Because once you push in 90, you most likely are not going to change. I don't understand how Japanese society didn't see this one coming. And then they want to act shocked when they know this man's history. He's been doing this the whole time. It's just that now the media caught wind of it. And now everybody's upset because so many different publications are talking about it. But it is what it is. He said it. How are they going to deal with it? He's not resigning as it seems like so. Someone needs to talk to somebody. Because he's he's still in everybody's face. So uh, Maybe they're going to throw some more women on the committee. And, try, and everything will be okay. And everything will be happy. But the problem will still be there. How are you going to take care of the problem? That's all. Fix the problem. Do better so you guys this is definitely a lot to think about put below how you feel about his comments and about women's rights and sexist comments <laughs> follow my social media mostly my instagram i also have a blog on east asian pop culture the link is always down in the description box below <laughs> and remember be real, stay real, live in the real, and I will surely be back.
Love you all. <laughs> See ya.